Welcome to another episode of the Filipino Genealogy Channel. So tonight I have my cousin once again, Gavin Sanson Bagares, uh, as my guest for our discussion on our 23andMe uh, genetic genealogy results. by the way to all our viewers to all the subscribers of this channel so we finally have our results the results uh, as you can see here on the screen uh, conclusively tell us that we are second cousins or half second cousins yes so there is no doubt uh, based on the results of our DNA testing uh, that we are both descended from Lola Carmen. Okay? Oh, okay. So I'm looking now at our uh, comparative ancestral result. And as, well, obviously our most, uh, the biggest composition that we have is East Asian uh, and Indigenous American. Mm -hmm. In my case, I am 97.3% while you are 95.7 percent okay. um okay. filipino and austronesian you are more filipino austronesian at 81.9 percent wow. while i am just 76 percent but the biggest surprise i suppose that we have here is the chinese well what you have based on your result is 10.7 percent however uh, interestingly, um, I was surprised to find out that I am almost 20% Chinese, so I am almost double. So high. Yes, double your Chinese. <laughs> and we were initially expecting him to have yes. a higher uh, Chinese percentage. <laughs> we also got some traces. Uh, I have 1.7% Indonesian, Thai, Khmer, and Myanmar. Well, you have a higher uh, 3%. Uh, and we also have broadly Chinese. So this is outside mainland China and mm. Southeast Asia. So this is, this, this is the, I think, the ancestry that they could not uh, pinpoint, where pinpoint they came exactly. From. So that's why they call it broadly Chinese and Southeast mm. Asian. Uh, we both have traces. Uh, I have 20%, while well, you have just 0.1%. Mm -hmm. But I also see here, I don't have it. It says indigenous American, meaning Incan, uh, could be Aztec, somewhere in the South Americas, uh, including Mexico. You have a trace percentage of 0.1%. So that's our East Asian, and in your case, including your indigenous American, American. Wow. Uh, ancestry. Uh, ancestry. Let's trace. go now to our European trace results. DNA. DNA testing has actually disproved a lot of people who say that uh, Filipinos are, or very few Filipinos have Spanish ancestry. Mm. Because it has always been generally believed that the Spaniards, you know, based on our history as well, mm. that the Spaniards rarely uh, interacted with us. Yeah. And even yeah. you have had that, I think if we review our previous video, mm. you said that you were expecting 99% Chinese heritage. Yeah, point nine, yeah. Completely Chinese. Yeah, I but expect this totally disproves that. It even gives you 1.4% European, which is 0.1% higher than mine. Based on our results, as you can see here on the screen, uh, we both, well, I, you have Southern European, and we will discuss the Southern breakdown European. later, uh, wow. while I have both Southern and Eastern European. So wow. let's go to Southern European. Um, Italian, you have 0.9%, which is almost 1%. One of the um, tools that you can also see, as you can see here in the screen, is what we call the timeline of your oh, yes, ancestry. Yes. The and it, it detects, but uh, here's a caveat, it, it detects the closest uh, that they can find your, let's say, Italian blood. Uh, the, the closest ancestor with that particular Italian ancestry. So they will tell you it's from the 8th to 10th. So they give you a range. A range, yes. yeah. It's, uh -huh. it's not very definite, but at least the range is close 
uh, to reality. For example, second to fourth generation. So mm -hmm. it would mean your oh, parents. Yes. But anyway, it tells you uh, if it tells you that your Chinese ancestry is from the second to fourth generation. That's the closest uh, that the Chinese blood appears in your DNA. Yeah. Now let's go to Spanish and Portuguese. So in this case, 23 and me, they lump together Spanish and Portuguese, where I have 1% of, mm. while you have 0.1%. Ever, you do have something that they could not perhaps identify specifically where in Southern Europe, but you have broadly Southern European ancestry of 0.4%. An interesting uh, result on my point is that I have Eastern European blood oh, of 0.3%. Very, and very you have small. None, right? And you have none. The good things it about hold. Yeah. about the results that you get here, if, if you also uh, explore it further, um, when when you check on like on my on my part, when you check on the, when I look at my Filipino, for example, bloodline. Yeah. And if you click on that, it will tell you uh, what regions in the Philippines they tested for. Uh, okay. So it does not just tell you that you are Filipino. Yeah. It tells you which parts of the Philippines your ancestors also came from. Um, as you can see here, you can see that there are, for example, of the what's 14, 15 regions in the Philippines, they tested all of these regions and they found that I have roots to at least nine regions. So here, I'm um, going back. Yes. Uh, so after the European uh, ancestry, we now go to having Central and South Asian. So these are the, the Indian. The Indian, bloodline. yes. And so interestingly, calling. both of us also have Indian uh, bloodline. The legend that my father's family had Indian has Indian blood. So I really jumped for joy when I saw that. Whether in South... Indian and Pakistani, it's broadly yes. grouped together, but somewhere in Pakistan or North India. North India. And you have it too. Uh, I don't have Northern Indian and Pakistani. Uh -huh. You have 5.5%, but we both have Bengali and Northeast Indian. Uh, you have 0.8, I have much higher at 1.2%. Okay. Yeah. So let's go now to the last part of our uh, test result. Um, I think this is more interesting for us. As you see on your screen, uh -huh. both, yeah. uh, both you and I have Neanderthal ancestry. Yeah. Uh, what, what this tells us is that um, it's, again, proven by science now that uh, many of our ancestors mated with Neanderthals. Neanderthals. So not just with Homo sapiens, but yes. also with uh, our ancestors who were Neanderthals. So it tells us that we're not pure Homo sapiens. No, 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 yes. Which is well, interesting to think about. I um, think we look down in the cavemen. Correct. We call we... them cavemen, although many anthropologists would react violently when you call Neanderthals as cavemen. Exactly. Uh, what is interesting here is that I am apparently more Neanderthal than you. Based on my result, it says here that I have more Neanderthal variants than 99% of the total population of people who took uh, that DNA test of 22 and me. It actually tells us uh, that we are both, we both have what they call Neanderthal, Neanderthal variants. variants. Uh, not the Omicron variant or any other. Oh, Jesus. Uh, no. co oh by the no way, you, you, you mentioned something earlier that if you have, apparently, if you have more Neanderthal oh, variants. Yes, I was told by somebody uh, who's into this also that um, there is a resistance to the coronavirus. Oh. Well, I hope we got that from our Neanderthal yeah, ancestors. I hope that is proven. <laughs> So, well, but we take no chances. Yeah. By the way, it was our very good friend Mike Lopez who gave us both kits yes. for this 23andMe genetic uh -huh. genealogy. He's the one who really worships at the altar of us. Yes. So, thank you for this. Mike uh, Acevedo Lopez. Our very good friend Mike Acevedo Lopez. Uh, and finally, uh, we also have what we call the haplogroups. Yes. Uh -huh. This is one of the beauties of 23andMe. Uh -huh. uh, other companies do not show this, or you have to pay extra to you get to your get maternal and paternal, paternal. haplogroup. Um, mm. Briefly, 
the haplogroup is the the identification of the genetic lineage. Mm -hmm. So if you say maternal haplogroup, that means it is the bloodline of your of the mother of your mother of the mother of the mother. So it's to the female. A long, chain. It's a like long a chain. chain, right? Correct. So mother of the mother of the mother. So it's just mm -hmm. one line of mothers. So anyway, mm -hmm. um, so for our maternal haplogroup, I am very thankful that you have also uh, taken this test because your maternal haplogroup also happens to be the maternal haplogroup of my paternal grandfather oh, okay. because we there share descent um. from Lola Carmen. So which means mm. uh, I can also put this in my own haplogroup family tree that yes. I am um. from E1, A1, A1. Mm. Uh, my maternal haplogroup is m 7 C three C. What well, I guess that's it. Uh, those are the so very interesting, and very uh, amazing yeah. uh, journey into our ancestral past. Um, I encourage all people people who are interested in their genealogy. Uh, this is another way for you to dig deeper into your mm -hmm. past. That's why. If at certain point in your research into your family tree, you, you hit a dead end, uh, a brick wall because there are no more records available. So the best or the next best thing to do is at least trace your ancestry. Uh, so that's it. Thank you to 23andMe for this result. So my big advice, uh, please uh, contact that genealogy is questions and how to get into this website 23 and you can see in the next uh, before the end of this video uh, a link to the video that we did on the unboxing and how we took the test so thank you so much for watching this video we hope that you enjoyed it and learned something from it and again uh, genetic genealogy is a fun way to add to your genealogy mm -hmm. research uh, thank you for watching and Happy New Year once again and please stay safe always and get vaccinated. Goodbye. Bye.